Hi and welcome to another one of our videos where I'm going to be discussing how to do some hip stretches. Uh, one of these stretches was in our, one of our other videos but the sound came out really ordinary so I apologise for that. So I've included it again in case uh, you didn't um, see it or, or you couldn't hear it very well. So firstly I'll show you that video. Um, so what I've done here is I've placed a band across the top of my hip and this is where we sort of do the basic, what most people are familiar with as a glute stretch. The band is just there to assist the femoral head, which uh, your thigh bone, if that was your thigh bone, it's basically trying to pull it back into the socket because often we find with the impingements of the hip and people who, either, who can't bend very well and lose their lumbar curve really easily to get back pain, um, they don't have very good control of the femoral head within the hip joint. So this is a great way to get the stretch um, reflex of the, the glutes which are sort of contributing to the poor positioning of the back but at the same time creating a better so that the hip sits right inside the hip of the, the socket there so the ball in the socket as such. So you'll, you'll basically see here as I um, apply the band I'll gently just rock back and into a deep stretch and I'll be sort of searching around in different angles to see what works best for it and you know, I'll sort of be rocking from side to side and making sure that that, that I, the whole time I keep the little curve in my spine. I don't want to round out at any point. So that's why I don't have my elbows on the floor, um, which most people might be able to do if they've got good range. I don't have that. So I, I stay on my hands so that I, I stay up high. Now the second stretch is on the right here is a variation of a stretch that a lot of people might do but we find with a lot of hip trouble this can be quite hard to get right so and sometimes even the stretch itself causes pain with the leg that's on the floor so this is an alternative way to do this where you're using your own leg to be to provide assistance to the stretching leg so basically my top leg here is going to be trying to push down so I'm going to be trying to push this leg here is going to be pushing this leg into the ground so that I get a stretch on the outside of this of my left leg here. All right, so you'll see as I as I gently sort of push it down, um, you'll get that nice sort of a stretch on that outside. And then while I'm doing that, and you'll sort of see as I'm giving a good angle of what it looks like, um, you'll start to see that I'll, if I come back, right about here you'll see how I'm sort of reaching away with my right arm. So my right arm is really trying to pin itself down and reach away and my head will even turn away as well. So as my foot is pointing down, pushing down, my arm is going that way, which gives me a feeling of pulling the muscle from both ends, if that, if that makes sense. So then right in the middle here, I get that deep stretch, which is quite a difficult area for most people to stretch. Um, so these two stretches work really well this one really trying to center the you know the ball in the socket and this one trying to release a bit of the stiffness on the outside that's hard to find with um, stretching sometimes foam rolling helps but uh, you may need a little bit more work and this is a great way to do it all right so um, there's two really good ways you can use some stretches these work really well in between sets of deadlifts work really good well for anyone with back problems and hip related problems um, you know, it, it just really helps you to sort of mobilise that region to then prepare you for the movement that's going to correct it in the long term. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll see you on our next video.